Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS digital interview experience for the batch 2023. This interview happened today only that is on 15th September 2022. So guys, make sure that you watch this video to the end and do not skip any of the questions that have been discussed in this video. The video will be slightly long because it is a digital interview. So duration of the interview was also large. Okay, and guys. Previously also, I made a lot of TCA digital interview experiences on my channel. I have a dedicated playlist on TCA digital interview experiences. All those experiences you can find under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it if you have the interview in the coming days. And guys, Ninja interviews have also started. I will be making videos for Ninja interviews also. But similarly, TCA Ninja interview experiences for uh, of. Uh, Playlist is also there on my channel. You can watch here. The links will be given in the description box. Make sure to visit them. And guys, if you are not feeling confident about the interviews, you have done the preparation, but you are not feeling confident. So guys, come with us and give us the mock interview. We'll tell each and everything to you. What were your good points? What were your bad points? We will even do the uh, resume review in these interviews also. So kindly make sure to book your slot. The slots are very very limited. So make sure to book as soon as possible. The links you will find in the description box. And on booking the mock interviews today, you are getting a flat 20% off on the bookings. So make sure to book the slot now. The links you will get in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the subscribe button as well as the like button because this motivates me to make such videos. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 15th September 2022. That is today only. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 40 minutes. So thesis interview consists of three things that is technical questions, managerial questions, HR questions. All these questions I will, will be discussing in this video. So kindly do not skip any part of the video. So first technical questions were asked. So first question was as you all know will be introduce yourself and guys believe me it will be a very important question as per the interview is concerned because how will the interviewer know that but all things you know. So he will simply ask you introduce yourself. So in this particular question you can tell about your internships, your projects, your skills, your extracurricular activities or any of the achievements. All these things you can mention and introduce yourself. But remember that you do not lie anything about yourself in this particular question. It is a very important question as per the interview is concerned. Okay. I hope now this question is clear to you. Next question is which language you prefer. So my friend said that he prefers Java. Next question was now since he had said java so now the next of the questions will be based on java only uh, to like like four to five questions so similarly you can say c plus plus similarly you can say python any language you can say but you must know the basic oops concepts in those languages okay so next question was explain the use of final keyword so guys final keyword is used to apply restrictions on class class method and variable the final class cannot be inherited the final method cannot be overridden the final variable cannot be changed. So this is the use of final keyword. It is used three at three places on class, method and variable. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next question is again a very important as well as a very commonly asked question in any of the companies. That is explain overloading and overriding. So explain method overloading and explain method overriding. So guys in method overloading, it is an example of compile time polymorphism. Whereas method overriding is an example of runtime polymorphism. Now, what is overloading? Overloading means that in a particular class, in a same class, you have two to three functions with, with the same name but different parameters. Again, I am repeating method overloading means in a single class, you have two to three methods or functions with the same name but different arguments. This is method overloading. So, in method overloading, only one class is there, but inside that class, two to three methods of same name are declared. Okay. Next thing is method overriding. Now method overriding what happens is that in this particular thing two classes are required that is one is the parent class and other one is the child class. Now in this a method is defined in both the classes parent as well as in the child with the same name and same arguments also same type of arguments also. So I hope now what you have you know now what is, what is method overloading and what is method overriding. In overloading only single class is used in overriding two classes are used. Okay so I hope now this <coughs> This particular question is also clear to you. Next question was, what is the use of finally block in exceptional handling? So as you must know that there are total three blocks. Try block is there, catch block is there and finally block is also there. So what is the use of finally block in exception handling? 
The final block in Java is used to put important codes such as cleanup code, closing the file or closing the connection. The finally block executes whether the exception rise or not and whether the exception is handled or not. So it means that whether your code goes into the try block or whether the codes your code go into the catch block. But finally block will always be executed and it will always be executed after try and after try catch has been executed. Okay. So now in finally what we do we just use it to simply close the connections or close the files. So this is the use of finally block and it is always executed whether the exception has occurred or whether the exception has not occurred. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Next is explain the pillars of OOPS. So guys, again, it is a very important question as per the interview is concerned. The pillars of OOPS are abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism and inheritance. And if you want to know in detail about these pillars plus the real life example, I have made a separate video on my channel. The link you will get in the i button. Make sure to visit it. Visit it. In that I have discussed in detail about the pillars of OOPS plus I have discussed with them with real life examples. And guys, again, I want to remind you that we have started taking the mock interviews for TCA detail also as well as TCA ninja also. So if you're not feeling confident about your interviews, then do come to us for the <laughs> mock interviews. We will tell you the positive points, the negative points, as well as we will do your resume review also, which will be helpful in the future companies. Okay. Make sure that if you're not confident, come to us, we will guide you through the interview process. So any mistake that you want to make, make in the mock interview don't make mistakes in the final interviews so you can simply book your slot the links are in the description box you can simply simply get 20 percent off on the uh, 20 percent discount on these uh, mock interviews the links are in the description box now let's just continue our uh, questions next question that was asked was is multiple inheritance possible in java so here the answer is yes it is possible in java but how it is possible? It is not possible with the help of classes, but it is possible with the help of interfaces. So I hope now this question is also clear to you that multiple inheritance is possible with the help of interfaces in Java. Okay. Next question is explain your project. And guys, this is where your deciding factor occur in the interview. That is what, or what project you have done on what technologies you have done. What is the scale of that project? And how impactful is that project to the, uh, you can say to the society. So my friend has done two projects. He has mentioned two projects in the resume. And guys, believe me, I personally suggest that kindly mention at least two projects in your resume. They should be, they can be basic, but mention at least two projects and they should be on the techno, uh, new age technologies like machine learning is there, Android is there and uh, big data is there. So try to make projects on them. Basic projects will do fine, but try to make at least two projects on them and mention them in your resume. And also make one thing very clear that the technology on which you are making your projects, that uh, that technology you have, you should have the understanding, basic understanding. That is, if any cross question occurs in the interview about your project, then you must be able to answer it. Like, for example, in machine learning, like why you have used logistic regression and you have not used KNN or why you have used KNN and not decision trees. So these type of questions can come to you. So be prepared with the basic level of the uh, basic level of the technology that you are uh, doing for uh, that you uh, that you are building project for. Okay. So I hope now this question is also clear to you. Now, if you do not know how to explain your project in the interview, again, I am a dedicated video on this channel with live example and how you can explain your project to the interviewer. The link again you will find in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to visit it. Next question is what is future scope of your project? So as again, if you're doing any project that must be scalable, that must be, there must be some use to the society. So try to build some, uh, some features in the project that are not present currently or are in consideration. This will show that yes, you have a, you have a vision that the work you are doing will lead to a particular solution in the future. So try to do that, that what is your future scope that you have done in your project? Like many of you done, you have done Titanic, uh, Titanic data set for machine learning. That is very common project. Okay. But again, try to modify certain things in that project that can impress the interviewer. So I hope now my, uh, my thought is clear to you that what I am trying to say. Okay. Next question is challenges you face during project. So guys do not say that you do not <laughs> have not faced any challenges because without challenges, you do not, you cannot make a good project. Okay. Now again, try to read your project that what challenges you face. Like again, if I give you the example of machine learning, there is a lot of huge data, data cleaning has to be done. 
data manipulation has to be done and again to carry such data to perform manipulation on such data you must require a high performing device okay so again these are certain challenges that you can face in your project but again it depends on project to project read your project thoroughly and see what challenges you faced and how you overcome those challenges to tell to the interviewer i hope now this question is also clear to you next question was what are acid properties so now guys acid properties we all know it is atomicity consistency isolation durability you can read the definition in the google because in this video it will become very long if i try to explain each of these points okay next one was explain the difference between drop and truncate so guys drop truncate and delete these are three very important commands for which difference you must know and each of the syntax also you must know in the interview okay again i will give you the link of the difference <coughs> in the description box make sure to visit it next question is what is difference between having and where clause so simply the where clause is used with the select statement whereas having clause is used by the group by statement this is the major difference between having and where clause okay and there uh, again at least two to three difference you can tell to the interviewer uh, okay so here i have written that where clause implements in a row operation whereas having clause implements in a column operation so again it is dependent on you that how you have to tell to the interviewer okay the main difference is that where clause is used with the select statement whereas having clause is used with the group by statement next question is explain the primary key and foreign key so, so simple definition of primary key and foreign key is that a primary key is used to ensure the value in a particular column is unique okay the foreign key provides the link between two tables so if you want to join two tables there must be a common column in between those tables and that must be a foreign key okay a primary key is used to uniquely identify a record in a particular table i hope now this particular question is also clear to you now these are all the technical questions that were asked from the my friend now i will be discussing the managerial round questions okay so there were total three questions that were asked in the managerial round first one was how will you ensure that team stay motivated so see in managerial question you are given the situation based question okay so now you have to always answer positively in these questions you cannot use the negative words like i can't i don't so that these type of words you cannot use so these are the three type of questions again answer will depend on depend on your thought process that how you are thinking in that situation there is no correct or wrong answer in this particular things but again try to give a positive answer to the interviewer again you can you can take this screenshot of all these three questions these were the manager round questions that were asked now let us discuss the HR round questions. Okay, HR round questions. Again, there were three questions which are <laughs> asked in the HR round. Are you willing to relocate? Again, kindly say yes. That yes, you want to relocate. Yes, you want to relocate. Are you willing for night shift? Yes, you are willing to night. You are willing to night shift. They will not just give you the night shift, but again, this gives a positive impression to the interviewer that yes, you are capable of. You want to work in this organization, and you can. You are capable of working. Okay. Next question of HR question is that where do you see yourself after three years? Again, this is a very commonly asked HR question. You can simply, you can simply Google the answer about this particular question. But again, all the answers that you are given, given in the managerial round or the HR round, try to give the positive, with try to give it with a positive thought as well as try to give a long term answer. Like yes, you are seeing your future in this organization only. In thesis only, you want to work for next five to ten years. Okay, just give this thought to the interviewer. Okay, they will be happy. So I hope now all the questions are clear to you, and I hope now you will be able to clear your interviews, or you have got a fair idea that about uh, uh, what are the different type of questions that are being asked from you. Again, guys, I am telling you, if you are not feeling confident, don't worry. Come to us. We will take your mock interviews. We will tell you each and every step about positive, negative points, where you can improve. So again, the point here is do all the mistakes that you can do in the mock interviews, but do not do mistakes in the real interviews. so many of you will be facing the interview first time so there are there are high chances that you will do mistakes so please first come to us do the mistakes and then go to the interview with positive thought and plus confidence okay i hope now this thing is clear to you so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe this channel this will really motivate me to make more such videos thank you for watching this video